Hi, I'm Brad. This is another quickie video update and again on our project Big Grunt. A lot of people have asked us for some more detailed information and close-ups of the particular parts in the engine bay. So if I get my cameraman to come in a little bit closer, you can refer to our other video for the dyno run and other still photos, but just wanted to show you the level of modifications in the engine bay. So this particular part here is a custom airbox assembly with an air filter inside it to heat shield the intake from the turbo. Um, plus also to reduce the risk of defects, although on this car it's probably a little bit ironic. Um, you can see ginormous turbo assembly here, which is angle mount because the intake won't fit under the inlet manifold like the factory standard turbo does. Around the back here you can see all the heat shielding around the oil and coolant hoses and also this particular heat shielding here to keep the radiant heat and this cover off the clutch assembly master cylinder and the uh, brake master cylinder as well. The back here, this is the uh, custom breather tank assembly with all the um, hoses going back to the engine. You've got to remember with this type of grunt and this type of capacity, it puts a lot more load on the original factory um, breather system. And if you don't increase the capacity of the breather system under um, full load, these engines will breathe a lot, lot, lot harder and consume a lot more oil. So this particular part here was fabricated in the car to suit this application. Uh, GFB fully adjustable Deceptor Pro, which is uh, the electronic one, so it's got the wire going back into the engine bay, so it can be adjusted from the um, in cabin, not in the engine bay, for externally or internally venting. So when it's on internally venting, all the air, when it's blown off, goes back into the inlet manifold on the upstream side of the compressor housing. When it's externally venting, it comes out through this trumpet here, or you can have anything in between. Of course, this is the final compressor pipe coming into the in the Cosworth inlet manifold from the intercooler and again big um, high specification clamps to take the amount of boost although in the end we didn't have to run a lot of boost on this engine a lot of people have commented that um, the fact that we're only running 24 psi indicates just how well this engine came together and getting the recipe for all the parts just designed just right so everything works correctly we're not pushing big boost to chase horsepower for this type of modification on this engine even though the engine is built for high boost we actually end up running a lot less boost than what we actually thought we needed to. Across here you can see the uh, fuel pressure rig and the braided hoses for the fuel line. This all comes from the custom hoses that come from the back of the uh, remote tank with the remote pump. Inside here is all the original factory fuses and things like that but you'll see a lot of the components have been unpicked and removed. The whole harness was dismantled out of the engine bay and actually removed. We didn't just unplug it. The actual plug that goes into the harness was actually unpicked and removed wire by wire. This component here is the uh, water tank. Now this is for the specifically only for the water injection. It's got a lot of electronics connected to it as well. It's integrated with the Aquamist system for injecting small amounts of water into the inlet manifold just before the combustion chambers to reduce uh, temperatures but also to increase the anti-knock index so we were able to get about another 30 to 40 kilowatts out of this engine when we're running water injection because of the oxygen in the water allows us to have a higher octane rating so the only thing that goes in here is water or if the client's keen you can run water and methanol mix because the Aquamist pump is designed for it. We come around the front uh, custom uh, radiator catch can for the um, overflow bottle because all of this is again modified. Uh, Cosworth high pressure 1.3 bar radiator cap with a custom radiator. Um, Samco silicon hoses everywhere and then we get back around to the front you can see just down inside here is the custom front mount intercooler and last but not least up the particular top of the engine is the custom radiator header tank again because all of this had to be changed to suit the modifications for the inlet. Remember on these models they've got two radiator caps. So there you have it, Project Big Grunt. Make a comment here on our video channel because your thoughts and feedback are important to us. Hopefully this gives you a little bit of an idea of what you can do to your car wherever you are in the world. But for today, go to our Facebook page, have a look at the photo album. You can see individual photos of the car. Go to the MRT website um, under dyno graphs and you see all the dyno data of this car. But for now, uh, we're about ready to deliver this car back to the client, so uh, thanks for watching. Bye for now.